Well, Jamie, this is one of the uh, the feature bouts. I know we've had a, a little change of our um, schedule tonight. So we've got Josh O'Connor versus Ibrahim al Faki now. And, and Jamie, for me, this is one of the highlight bouts of the card. One of the contests I've most been looking forward to. O'Connor coming in perfect at 5-0. Ibrahim al Faki coming in 3-0. One of these guys going to be taking home their, uh, their first defeat tonight. And that's it, and exactly what I said before. You know, it, it's amateur MMA. This is a time to lose your own. This is the one where you don't care and you will learn from it. This is a, a belief I have from it. It, it is, you know, it, 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 it. So, as, as I was saying there, sorry. So, it, this is a time where you can afford to take the chances and afford to, to go out and do something different. And I think these two guys will do that. I really do. I believe that both of them will, will come out not caring, not worried about the, the loss, or not worried about the, the potential risk of a loss. And we'll see what we're going to see in the final again. Both from good teams. Yeah, Dino Gambatessa in the corner of uh, Josh O'Connor, I believe, over there. And, uh, and again, Manchester top team, Carl Prince, and, uh, and the daywalk, Aaron Wilkinson. The last time we've seen a Manchester top team guy in the uh, cage tonight, we've seen an absolutely brutal knockout. Yeah, I'll be seeing that in my nightmares, I think, for the next few weeks. Yeah, I'll be seeing it absolutely over and over again. Probably on YouTube at some point on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to monetize that. Quick. That will keep happening, yeah. That's, that's Bob Cassidy's retirement fund. And, and I think that's one that you didn't say unbelievable on as well. No, I didn't. I can't, I did you say it? I, I, maybe, maybe we'll I was to watch too you back. We need to watch you back. <laughs> they need them. Ibrahim Alfaki, Manchester top team fighter in the blue. Josh O'Connor, mainly from Swansea out of 24 MMA in the black. Alfaki winning on his last fight as well with a head kick. Something to watch out for then. He does look to be the slightly taller, slightly rangier fighter. Just mis misjudged the distance there to the back of the cage, O'Connor. A good switch up there from Alfaki as well. He's got that leg kick, he switched into a southpaw position. Clearly more than happy. Oh, God, he's got a one in the jaw then. You know, we talked about Jamie, you know, it being an ideal time to lose a fight when you are an amateur, but that doesn't mean that both these guys don't want to come out and win it tonight. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean you want, to, you want to lose a fight. What it means for me is, it, is if you lose, it is a learning process. I, re I do believe that, as long as you come back and work out why you lost and what happened with it. But, th th you know, this it's a great great level change, really good level change, and a good work there from, from the full takedown and Alfaki on his back. But, yeah, I think there's these, these just a... There's so many people out that fight amateur and they take a few easy fights and turn pro and, and then really struggle uh, as a pro. And I'd rather see you, you, you struggle more at the early days of amateur, become good and then have a good pro career. That's that's what we're here for. A good good setup here from Alfaki. He's looking to go for that buggy choke. That's a he's looking for the buggy choke at the minute. Looking very slick. He's got he's very, he's, very he's, flexible off the back here is Alfaki. So he's looking at the buggy choke, trying to work it in. What does O'Connor need to do to defend here, Jamie? So he needs to push, that, push down on the hip, and he needs to, he needs to step over. He's just done there, but the, 
he's continued to work past that that uh, that right leg now. He's a push that hip to the ground constantly. He cannot allow that leg to come up because when that leg comes up, that's when the buggy choke can completely tighten and go asleep with it. We've seen this quite a few times recently. He's dealing with it well because he's, he's sort of he's posturing a little bit and he's stepping with his backside up in the air now. But he's, he can go sleep off this pretty quickly once that's across the neck. Trying to find a way out here is Josh O'Connor. So yeah, he's going to step into the go-go plow. You love the go-go. Man, you don't often see Gogo Platter in uh, in amateur MMA. No, I, but O'Connor able to uh, to back off there. He's going to be careful of the up kicks from the Ranger man here. Al Faki looking to get a hold of the leg there. So I think there's a bit of a panic there. Um, to, to be honest, I, th I think uh, O'Connor panicked a little bit much because I think he believed there may be a heel up coming, but you can't do it in amateur MMA. So you could see the panic the way you moved out. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got the straight foot lock in amateur MMA, but, you know, it's uh, it's one of those pain submissions. There's no damage being done. If you can gut it out for a, a couple of seconds, you're going to be OK. But, of course, it's a fine line between those uh, the straight foot lock and, and then as soon as you've turned it a little bit, then you're technically breaking the rules. So I know a lot of people advise just to forget about them. And, yeah. Know, if it's not the knee bar, don't bother. Well, that, and that's it, he's the straight locks you've got to worry about in amateur MMA, but once you start to worry about anything else, he's, he's, he's kind of irrelevant. And I, I could I could tell by the way he stepped up there, he did a bit of a panic sort of move. Not that he mattered, he didn't go anywhere, so he doesn't really matter now, but, you know, I think that was a good first round for uh, for Alfaki. I think the uh, the buggy choke was on, nice and tight. Uh, it's a very un unorthodox choke uh, by the buggy man himself from 10th Planet, and it's... Um, He's a, he's, he's a choke we're seeing more and more. Uh, I know one of, uh, again, higher level James Doolan's guys did it recently. Uh, and James had mentioned before the fight, he said, you better tell the referee if that, that, that's on because you go out with the ref doesn't see it on. He's sure. such a strange sure. choke. And that's what we talk about when, we, when we're talking about effective grappling in terms of the judging criteria. It's, it's getting to those positions, attacking those submissions. That's nothing but effective grappling. So that's, uh, that's a big round for off Oh, Oh, massive round. Mass yeah, absolutely great from start to finish there. You know, even on the feet, it looked brilliant as well. Nice jab from Alfaki and a leg kick from Josh O'Connor to start things off. Inside leg kick as well. And trying to work, well, trying to work that through the middle as well with that. A right kick through the front. Yeah, the shots are a bit more pronounced from O'Connor, and those looping punches. Uh, Alfaki a little bit more sudden with his. Benefits yeah. to both styles, of course. He's trying to open up that head kick again, though, so he, so he keeps going that left body kick so he can open up the right head kick. Done it a few times now. Oh, there was the head kick and uh, good work from Josh O'Connor to, uh, I mean, I don't think he'll need a trip to the Barbers for too long after that one. That's certainly taken a couple of inches off the top. <laughs> he took the hedge off there. <laughs> so a good, a, a good a good work there, but because he's so, such a tall guy, Alfaki, you're going to find it very hard to lift him from the hips. You're actually going to go to more of a high crotch to lift him. You know he's got to watch a Kimura. He's got to watch that Kimura one. If that gets ripped behind the back, He's in a lot of trouble here, Brad. Yeah, he almost swept him with it there. And he's going to sweep him again, is he? Very nearly. Yeah, he's got that T-bar position. He's trying to push off. He, he can start to work his way around the back from this as well. Oh, good work from uh, O'Connor there to ping out of it. Yeah, he can now lift that left arm over the top and take the back from it because he's got the one hook in, but he's going to struggle now. He's, he's allowed, he's allowed O'Connor to settle a little bit there. Let's see what Josh O'Connor can do now while he's in the driving seat for an extended period for the first time in this contest. Yeah, he's putting the top pressure on, he's putting that shoulder pressure in, that shoulder of justice there, putting the right across the chin. But again, he's going for that buggy choke. He needs to be more inside control to get that in, though. Seems like a, uh, a dangerous guard to hang out in that of uh, it is, it, Ibrahim uh, Alfaki. Just the size, just the, the length of him, the way he moves his hips and the way he moves his legs, he's, he's a very dangerous guy to be in that position with. There's a, a pouring shot from O'Connor there. and Still wants that head kick, though. Still wants that head kick. You can see it. 
Working off that right jab now. Nice kick to the body there from Josh O'Connor, trying to put points on the board. Gets in on the single leg that time. Watch that neck, watch that arm now, watch that back take. And again, go for that Kimura. They can use that Kimura to the back take. Great work there from Alfaki. He's, he's not going to have enough time here, but the grappling has been outstanding from Ibrahim Alfaki. Yeah, he's been brilliant. He really has. He, he caught that Kimura then again, went into that sweep, had no care about that at all. He was just happy to, to move around with it. Yeah, the sort of smoothness with which he's grappling here, it's almost like he's, uh, you know, he's just in a gym session and he's going through the motions. He, he really, really doesn't look like he's exerting himself that much. Very nonchalant, isn't it? Exactly, just the way, just yeah. the way he moves through and doesn't really care um, because he, I think he's very comfortable in any position and that, that's the difference we're seeing here, Brad. Good second round there for Al uh, I think, you know, the... <sighs> a lot that Joshua Connor needs to do here to, to get this fight as a, as a win. Yeah, it's certainly a, uh, a case of playing catch-up now for Joshua Connor. But to, to be completely honest, Jamie, I don't feel that Joshua Connor's made any particular mistakes no, so not at far all. in this fight. You know, it's just... Uh, He's unforced so, errors yeah, so far. It's, it's, it's just uh, been a tough contest for him. And, yeah. you know, let's see what he can do in the third round here. Sorry, I mean, he's, he, sorry, I mean, it's more forced errors rather than unforced errors than, than anything else. There's been nothing wrong with, with O'Connor's game at all. I just think he's just had Alfaki really on his game tonight and look at him. Horrible head kicks. Okay, <laughs> both guys trading head kick attempts there. Yeah. Nice jab from Alfaki. Work off that jab again. That one, two. Try, I'd like to see a bit more hands from Alfaki now because I think he's got that hand range. Very fluid there is Alfaki, but he's pressed up against the cage now. Trying to work that round the corner turn there. Trying to take the back take, but struggling because that whizzer. A strong wizard from Alfaki. Trying to sweep himself from that. From that. And uh, interestingly, it was O'Connor that disengaged there. O'Connor attacking the lead leg, goes in for the single. Yeah, gets that single, gets that single outside trip as well. Trying to work his way around now around the corner. But again, this is where Alfaki is very comfortable. You know, it's a dangerous game, as we said, Jamie, but this may be where O'Connor feels he's got the best chance of getting a finish here, and he's going to need one. Yeah, I, th I think he's, he's definitely going to need need something, but you've got to watch this. Like, once again, go for that go-go platter, trying to work it in. Again, it's he very made, rare oh, to see uh, good a work go platter in amateur MMA. Good work from, from O'Connor there, because that was very, very close to slipping across under the chin, and that's where that go-go platter becomes extremely dangerous and very hard to release. Just Alfaki, really so, uh, so rangy, he was able to almost kick his man in the head there from uh, the butt scoop position. I'm surprised that O'Connor's going for these, these takedowns over and over again because he's getting them, but he's getting beat up from, from the top. So every time he's on, uh, he's in top position, he's, he seems to be getting caught in something. So here's where you, you may see a buggy choke uh, attempted again from the side control. This is where he's most effective from. From the bottom. Again, he's, he's had to lift his leg then. That's where it becomes very effective. Yeah, just I think looking a little bit frustrated here. You know, O'Connor's got the takedowns, but we've not seen any meaningful offence from him in those positions. He's going to have to pull something out of the back here, Jamie. Go for Kimura again, Alfaki. Trying to work for potentially an armbar as well, if he can switch under, go for an armbar on top. Alfaki's so dangerous in these positions, really is oh, great he's to see. A great grappler. Good work there from Josh O'Connor to come out on top too. Yeah, great stuff from both these young men.
two undefeated fighters showing just why they came into this contest undefeated. Ibrahim Alfaki 3-0 coming in, Josh O'Connor 5-0. But I do feel that Josh O'Connor will have tasted defeat for the first time this evening. But an impressive performance nonetheless. He was in the fight right until the very end. Ibrahim Alfaki though just perhaps a little bit too sharp on the feet. His defensive work and his submission attacks on the ground really were the story of this contest. But man, I would have loved to see that go on another two rounds. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see these guys rematch either for an amateur title at some point or perhaps even early in their professional careers. But what more can you ask for against young, uh, between young undefeated prospects? Ibrahim Alfaki, Josh O'Connor take a bow as our MC, Mr. Chris Clark, makes it official. Josh O'Connor takes it. Josh O'Connor takes it by a split decision. Look, uh, we're not judges here in the commentary position. We're, uh, you know, we're not watching the fight closely or intently enough to uh, to score correctly. So, you know, but there's a good chance we missed something there. I'm, I'll happily go and watch it back and uh, and see if my mind's changed, but. I think we uh, we perhaps expected that one to be uh, to be a shutout for Al Faki, but Josh O'Connor takes the win. He remains undefeated, moves to six and zero. And look, it was a very spirited contest between these two young guys. And uh, given the uh, given the controversial nature, perhaps of uh, of that contest, given the fact that it was a split decision, perhaps we will see a rematch before too long.